This is a tutorial that will present you how to create question pools. So with this tutorial, we will see that we can create question pools, add and delete questions in a pool, as well as create random question slides. And this third point is really the reason why we create question pools. Uh, in Captivate, you can have random questions appear in your quiz. And this is interesting because every time the learning module boots up, um, the questions will appear always in a random order, and that increases the unpredictability of the module. So how do we do this? So to create a question pool, we'll go here to the menu Quiz, and then to Question Pool Manager. Here we have the window where we will manage our question pools. And here on the left, we can add question pools here, and we can name them. Here I'll choose to keep the same names for simplicity's sake, but here by clicking on the plus on the right, we can add different types of questions. Here's the different types of questions that you can add. You can also choose how many questions you want to add for each type, as well as if you want it to be a graded question or a survey question. So for example, in my first pool here, I will add two multiple choice graded questions. And then once you add these questions, you'll see them appear here in this window. You can now close this window, and here you'll see at the bottom my two questions that I've just added to pool one. You can change the properties of the particular questions here as for all the functions for Captivate. Now I'll show you how to add questions that have already been made. So here I have four questions here on the left-hand side that have already been made in my main project. It's quite simple. You just click on the slide in question, do a right click, move question to, and here you select which pool you want to add the question to. So since we already have two questions in pool one, I'll add this question here to pool two. And now here you see that we have our question here in pool two, and we only have three questions remaining in our main project. So I'll do the very same thing to this question. And then for these other two questions, I can select them both, and I can integrate them now to pool three. So now you see that we have no more questions in our main project, but on the other hand, we have in pool one, the questions that we made when we created the pools, as well as in pool 2 and pool 3, the questions that had already been made and that we integrate into the pools. Finally, I will show you how to create random questions, and it's actually quite simple. Click here on the bar to the right, then go to the menu Quiz, Question Slide, and you will see the option for the random question here at the bottom. You can indicate, for example, Three questions we'll add. And finally, you can indicate from which pool you would want to take the questions. So for example, we'll take them from pool one. So here we go. All right, and now you see here the three questions which will appear in the order of our module. If ever you want to change from which pool you will take the question, you can just click on the question here and then change it in the properties here. So for example, I can decide to take the second question from pool two, the third question from pool three, etc. But it's really up to you however you want to structure uh, your module. All right, so now we have seen how to create a question pool how to add question pools, and how to create random question slides. One more thing, if you ever you want to change the location of the questions in the pools, you can just right click to move the question either to one of the other pools or back to the main project. You can, of course, also choose to delete the question. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on question pools in Adobe Captivate 8.